Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like. Please subscribe down below. Appreciate all the support. And if you can tell by the box here, it's got holes in it. <laughs> Some of you might know this Swiss cheese box. Others may not. These came out on November 14th. Retail price was $190 US. And this was a women's release that released in larger sizes for men. So it technically could be called a unisex because they were trying to accommodate to smaller women's sizes and to make it in a women's to be able to fit larger men's sizes. As you can see, this is a men's 12 and a half. And the colorway on this pair is polarized blue tour yellow. These did come out in three different colors. This was the first pair that I picked up. I do have another pair I will show you guys, but we will put photos up right now while I'm unboxing these because we will show you the blue. And then right now you should see a photo, a photo of the Tory yellow pair. And after that should pop up a pair of the black and pink. So there was three in this pack. The pack itself is a little underrated in my opinion. It's not going too crazy right now in the aftermarket. I think these might go up as opposed to the Terra Kigers, which have pretty much stabilized and some of them have actually dropped in price in larger sizes. Uh, a little history about this shoe is the designer of Off-White, Virgil Abloh and founder, he wanted to blend va basically the Vaporfly and the Zoomfly as part of his track and field spring-summer 19 runway collection that he was showing off at the fashion show. And then based on the whole shoe, they called it the Nike Vapor Street and it combined modern technology with a runner aesthetic from the 1970s. So that's just a little bit about what they were going on here. And on all pairs like all off whites now you get the zip tie this is like a felt green it's kind of like the felt you would feel on like a model you know like a train model or you know those model sets where people have like plants and trees and they build like a whole little town or something like that this is kind of like that felt you would get on those fake trees and the bushes and it's an interesting material but other than that, this is the shoe in front of you guys. And as you can see on camera, I'm holding it and it does have kind of an awkward shape, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe the camera's not doing it too much justice right now. But they honestly don't look as bad in person. They may look a little funny on camera because they're a little tall. But they honestly fit pretty good. I do usually wear a size 13 in shoes. These fit all right. Maybe I should have gone true to size. That's what I feel like because they are a little more narrow than a men's shoe because it's a women's. I have a narrow foot. I would say my foot maybe could be average, but maybe a little narrow. That's why I should have gone with a 13 because they're still a little tight on me. And as you can see, we have this unique double lacing system where the loop catch is right here in this pink. And then the green lace wraps all the way across the shoe in this crazy overlapping style. You got lace loops that pop up through here in a black. There's the tour yellow on the swoosh. And you have this interesting covering on the shoe. It's almost like they wanted to make it ready for the elements in a way. I feel like this would protect from water, moisture, snow. But at the same time, I don't know how these would do in the rain. Because you guys see all off-whites usually have that exposed, exposed foam tongue. And that worries me with water, rain, snow. Uh, it's, I don't know how these would do in the wet weather. And the biggest thing people are complaining about with these and most of these newer off-white running shoes is the spiky bottom. Now, let me show you guys something real quick so we can bring it up close so you can see. This is my hand. These are the spikes. I'm going to take my hand and force it down. And I'm pushing hard on that. And you'll see the little holes in my hand. They don't hurt. Like, look how they flex when I pull it down. I'm telling you guys, these spikes are... Uh, as of now, they're kind of like just there. But they will go away. They, after you wear these for a while, they will go away. You're left with these square nubs, and it'll just be like a deep studded uh, traction pattern, which will give you more grip throughout wearing the sneaker. You have this point at the back, which the vapor kind of always throws me off with that shape. It's a little weird back there. And coming on the inside here, both pairs will have this tag on them. Let me bring the other one up. As you can see, both pairs have the tag. So if you guys buy a pair of these and you want to legit check them, make sure both sneakers have this tag on them. They should both come with them. All pairs come with two tags, one on each shoe, made in Vietnam. Nothing on the other side. Over here, you got Off-White for Nike, Beaverton, Vapor Street in quotes, copyright 2019. 
You got the pink swoosh to match the pink heel tab with the white Nike, which I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can peel that down a little bit, and that's a leather under there. On the insole, you have that off-white Nike kind of yellow paper look. And on the other pair of laces, you have a wax kind of, uh, or actually, no, that's a rope tip. It's like a, uh, it's like a laminated rope kind of tip. And then on the other laces, of course, you get shoe laces and quotes, white laces. The exposed tongue is like a cream white, as you can see based off of the laces there. The inner lining is pink. So if you push the tongue down, you can see the pink flows down there. And what else should we talk about here? You do have two spikes on the front here, which give it a little bit of a weird look. Those are going to be the ones that aren't really going to wear off. That was my only complaint about these guys, is that when these start to wear and your spikes start to fade off and you don't see them anymore here, it's going to be awkward seeing these couple of spikes here. I wish they would have cut it off right here at this line. So I don't know why they put these three spikes on the toe. And the orange tag that's usually on the swoosh, the swoosh is on the outside. The orange tag is actually underneath the plastic, as you can see. And if we bring up the other pair, there is no extra laces with these. I actually just realized that. That usually off-whites, they came with a couple of extra pairs. And uh, these did not. I'm rambling a little bit now, but this is just kind of my opinion on these and how I feel. I think they're pretty decent i think they're comfortable i think they're a unique looking shoe i don't think they're for everybody because once again the style is so wild it's kind of like when you talk like yeezys you know the easy 700s the easy 750s the original 750 the boot looking thing those were hideous in my opinion other people loved them and went out and spent 1500 dollars on the aftermarket to have a pair so you know it's all a matter of opinion and really guys that's what this sneaker thing is all about is stick to you stick with what you like Buy what you like, enjoy what you like, and don't listen to what other people say you should like. It's just not worth it. In the long run, you'll be happier when your collection builds up and you stare back at 60, 50, 100 pairs, and you know that all of them you have a certain memory with or you truly appreciate. Just try to stick with that and try to be your own person when it comes to collecting sneakers. Don't let other people influence you and what you should put in your collection. But other than that, I just wanted to give you guys a little insight into how I feel about these, how I feel about sneaker collecting. You know, I've never really done that before. And that's just kind of where I stand as a collector. That's why when I show you guys my collection, eventually not everything's going to be hype. There's going to be GR sneakers in there. But they're there because I like them, because they resembled something, or because I just wanted them. But other than that, I will let you guys go. Let me know what you think of this review today. Let me know what you think of these. Drop a little conversation in the comments, and I will try to respond to everybody. I appreciate all the support. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a great day. All right?